Today our topic is how to develop a questionnaire for research. First of all we need to understand what is questionnaire and why we use questionnaire. What is questionnaire? A questionnaire is a technique for collecting data in which a respondent provides answers to a series of questions. Why we use questionnaire? To develop a questionnaire that will collect the data you want takes effort and time. However, by taking a step-by-step -step approach to questionnaire development, you can come up with an effective means to collect data that will answer your unique research question. Step 1. Designing your questionnaire. Identify the goal of your questionnaire. What kind of information do you want to gather with your questionnaire? What is your main objective? Is a questionnaire the best way to go about collecting this information? Develop one or several hypotheses that you want to test. The questions that you include on your questionnaire should be aimed at systematically testing these hypotheses. Writing your questionnaire. Introduce yourself. Your introduction should explain who you are, and what your credentials are. You should clarify if you are working alone or as a part of a team. Include the name of the academic institution or company for whom you are collecting data. For example, my name is Aisha Mushtaq and I am one of the creators of this questionnaire. I am part of the Department of Public Administration at the Gomal University, where I am focusing in developing cognition in infants. Choose your question type or types. Depending on the information you wish to gather, there are several possible types of questions to include on your questionnaire, each with unique pros and cons. Here are the types of commonly used questions on a questionnaire. Type 1. Dichotomous question. This is a question that will generally be a yes-no question but may also be an agree, disagree, question. It is the quickest and simplest question to analyze, but is not a highly sensitive measure. Type 2. Open-ended questions. These questions allow the respondent to respond in their own words. They can be useful for gaining insight into the feelings of the respondent, but can be a challenge when it comes to analysis of data. It is recommended to use open-ended questions to address the issue of why. Type 3. Multiple choice questions. These questions consist of three or more mutually exclusive categories and ask for a single answer or several answers. Multiple choice questions allow for easy analysis of results, but may not give the respondent the answer they want. Type 4. Rating scale questions. These questions allow the respondent to assess a particular issue based on a given dimension. You can provide a scale that gives an equal number of positive and negative choices, for example, ranging from strongly agree to strongly disagree. Type 5. Rank order, or ordinal, scale questions. This type of question asks your respondent to rank items or choose items in a particular order from a set. Describe any incentives that may be involved. An incentive is anything that you can offer as a reward at the end of the questionnaire. Incentives can be many types of things, they can be monetary, desired prizes, gift certificates, candy, etc. There are both pros and cons to offering incentives.
incentives can attract the wrong kind of respondent. You don't want to incorporate responses from people who rush through your questionnaire just to get the reward at the end. This is a danger of offering an incentive. Develop questions for your questionnaire. The questions that you develop for your questionnaire should be clear, concise, and direct. This will ensure that you get the best possible answers from your respondents. Write questions that are succinct and simple. You should not be writing complex statements or using technical jargon, as it will only confuse your respondents and lead to incorrect responses. Ask only one question at a time. This will help avoid confusion. Beware of asking for private or sensitive information. Disseminate your questionnaire. You need to determine what is the best way to disseminate your questionnaire. There are several common ways to distribute questionnaires. Use an online site, such as SurveyMonkey.com. The site allows you to write your own questionnaire with their survey builder, and provides additional options such as the option to buy a target audience and use their analytics to analyze your data. Distributing your questionnaire. Do a pilot study. Ask some people you know to take your questionnaire. They will not be included in any results stemming from this questionnaire, and be prepared to revise it if necessary. Plan to include 5 to 10 people in the pilot testing of your questionnaire. Get their feedback on your questionnaire by asking the following questions. Was the questionnaire easy to understand? Were there any questions that confused you? Was the questionnaire easy to access? Especially important if your questionnaire is online. Do you feel the questionnaire was worth your time? Were you comfortable answering the questions asked? Are there any improvements you would make to the questionnaire? Ensure you can protect privacy. Make your plan to protect respondents' privacy before you begin writing your survey. This is a very important part of many research projects. Estimate how long the questionnaire will take. Before someone sits down to take your questionnaire, it may be helpful for them to know whether the questionnaire will take them 10 minutes or 2 hours. Providing this information at the onset of your questionnaire is more likely to get you more complete questionnaires in the end. Explain the purpose of the questionnaire. Many people will not answer a questionnaire without understanding what the goal of the questionnaire is. No long explanation is needed, instead, a few concise sentences will do the truck. For example, this questionnaire will ask you 15 questions about your eating and exercise habits. We are attempting to make a correlation between healthy eating, frequency of exercise, and incidence of cancer in mature adults. Identify your target demographic. Is there a certain group of people who you want to target with your questionnaire? If so, it is best to determine this before you begin to distribute your questionnaire. Make sure your questionnaire looks professional. 
because you want people to have confidence in you as a data collector, your questionnaire must have a professional look. Always proofread. Check for spelling, grammar, and punctuation errors. Include a title. This is a good way for your respondents to understand the focus of the survey as quickly as possible. Thank your respondents. Thank them for taking the time and effort to complete your survey. Restrict the length of your questionnaire. Keep your questionnaire as short as possible. More people will be likely to answer a shorter questionnaire, so make sure you keep it as concise as possible while still collecting the necessary information. If you can make a questionnaire that only requires five questions, do it. Only include questions that are directly useful to your research. A questionnaire is not an opportunity to collect all kinds of information about your respondents. Avoid asking redundant questions. This will frustrate those who are taking your questions. Reveal what will happen with the data you collect. Are you collecting these data for a class project or for a publication? Are these data to be used for market research? Depending on what you intend to do with the data you collect from your questionnaire, there may be different requirements that you need to pay attention to before distributing your survey. Beware that if you are collecting in, include a deadline. Ask your respondents to have the questionnaire completed and returned to you by a certain date to ensure that you have enough time to analyze the results. Make your deadline reasonable. Giving respondents up to two weeks to answer should be more than sufficient. Anything longer and you risk your respondents forgetting about your questionnaire. Thank you for watching. I hope you can easily understand that, how to develop questionnaires for your research paper. Like, share, and subscribe my channel for more informative videos about research.